Hey friends, uh, welcome to my studio. I'm Wendell Myers. Uh, I posted a short video a uh, couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, and I've gotten some questions from people about uh, cradled panels. You were talking about these cradled wood panels. What, what are those? So I thought I would uh, show you some more examples. Um, this is a cradled wood panel. Uh, it's two inches deep and uh, these are available from all kinds of different manufacturers. Uh, different online retailers have different uh, brands uh, and there's a range of quality and a range of prices, a range of different types of surfaces. Uh, some just have the plain wood surface. This is a gesso board, uh, so it's been gessoed. It's very, very smooth. Um, this is from Da Vinci, uh, which I think is carried by Jerry's Artorama. Um, it's very smooth. Uh, there's another very smooth one on the market called Clayboard, C-L-A-Y-B-O-R-D, and that's from uh, Ampersand, and it, it's made with kaolin, which is why it's called clayboard. Kaolin is a kind of pure white clay, uh, and it's a very, very smooth surface. Um, normally what I do with these, or what I usually do with these, is to paint the sides black and paint uh, a border black around the outside. Sometimes I've uh, Sometimes if the, if the wood looks nice, and uh, it doesn't always, as I said, there's a range of quality, and sometimes uh, the wood is not nice enough to allow the wood to show. Uh, but sometimes it is, and in some of those cases, I will just varnish the wood um, and just paint the edge. Um, I typically don't paint right on the panel. I typically use these to uh, mount small paintings on paper. Um, paper is nice because you can pack it if you're traveling. Um, you can uh, cut it up or tear it up before you go and pack it in your suitcase and uh, take enough to do a number of small paintings. Um, I wanted to show that there are various sizes. This is 5x7. Uh, this is 8x10. Uh, this is 10 by 10, I'm sorry, no, this is 8 by 8. This is 10 by 10. And then um, this one here is 12 by 12. And I, I use various sizes up to 20 by 20. Um, and one of the reasons I use these, as you can see, they can sit on a table or a shelf. You don't have to hang them on the wall. Uh, I did want to show you an example of a 20 by 20 um, painting. This is a painting that I did on paper, 300 pound watercolor paper. Um, like I said in my last video, I do like to gesso the paper first uh, because I, I like it to not be absorbent when I'm working on it. Uh, it's more forgiving that way. Uh, the paint can be just wiped off, uh, it doesn't dry as fast, it doesn't soak into the paper. Um, but here is a painting that I did on paper and then mounted on a two inch deep uh, cradled panel, uh, wired on the back ready to hang, but also will sit on a uh, shelf. Now obviously with one this big, it's not gonna be as stable as a small one, so it would need to be on something that's not gonna be moved. Um, but it also hangs on the wall um, and I can show you that. Now, take this painting down. Um, I'm not using the wire in this case to hang it because I have this system of drywall screws on my painting wall. Uh, but you can see, okay, so you can hang it on the wall. You can stand it on, the, on here. And I do want to show um, some examples of finished pieces in, just so you can see what a finished piece uh, looks like with this approach. Okay, so these paintings, uh, these two on the end, are from uh, a series of three that I painted after uh, returning from Poland. Uh, my wife and I spent uh, a whole, an entire academic year in Poland, and uh, these paintings are 
inspired by trees in the Polish countryside, vegetation in the park along the Varta River in Poznan, uh, where we were. Our apartment was right beside a park along the river. It was really, really pleasant, a really nice uh, place to spend a year. Um, this one uh, was done somewhat earlier on returning from Poland in 2016. In 2016, we spent the summer in Warsaw. Um, and again, this is influenced by vegetation in, uh, in the Polish countryside or in Wazienki Park, the big park in, uh, in Warsaw uh, that we walked to and walked through many times during that summer of 2016. Okay, um, so here is another, uh, another series of finished paintings. Now I showed one of these in my earlier video. Um, this is a series of three. I started these in Poland uh, during 2017, 2018, uh, but didn't finish them until sometime in 2021, uh, long after we came home from Poland. And again, these uh, trees are inspired by the Polish countryside. Um, this is wooded hillside, number one, number two, and number three. These are eight by 10 inches, painted uh, again on 300 pound watercolor paper and then mounted on these two inch deep cradle panels, ready to hang, but can be set on a table or shelf. Um, so this is a little pair that I did for fun on watercolor paper while we were in Poland. Uh, and I was kind of experimenting with um, a nicer quality of cradled panel. Uh, so I didn't feel like I had to paint the side. Uh, I varnished it. Um, I have a note on the back here that this is Nafal Crimson. And uh, one of the things I was experimenting with was picking up a color that's in the painting to use for the uh, panel rather than just black on everything. Uh, and I think that worked pretty nicely. There, you can see there's some red here, there's red up here, um, and, and the signature is in red, and I just picked up that red and used it. Um, so that is some more information about what these cradled wood panels are. Um, again, they, they come in a wide range of quality and price, and you can get them at any online retailer. Um, they probably carry them at the big box uh, art supply stores too, like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. They probably have their own uh, versions. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, um, and hope to see you the next time, okay? Take care.